Hey everyone, welcome back to Modern Retro Gal. My name is JL and today we are going to talk about a couple of um, Black Friday makeup items that I got in the mail. Um, I'm going to have a quick demo at the end of this. You can see how they apply. Um, spoiler alert, I'm so far really loving both of these items. I cannot stop looking at my eyes. Um, this eye is a little bit sparklier because one of the items when I was testing it out off camera, I went a little crazy with it, but, um, what I'm talking about is the Stila Written in Stars. This is part of their Glitter and Glow Liquid Eye Set. Um, the shades in this kit are Diamond Dust, Kitten Karma, and Smoky Storm. Um, this is amazing. If you can happen to find this in your Ulta or Sephora, you need to grab this. Um, it was sold out and of course Sephora restocked it like the day after I paid a premium price buying this off of someone else. Kind of annoyed, but whatever. Um, but I would recommend if you can't find this, buy one of the full sizes. You won't be disappointed. I apologize about the craptastic lighting going on right now. Um, it's it's not late but it's just it gets starts getting dark here even later um anyways the second thing that i got i don't remember exactly oh here we go this is from tarte it is the spice up your stare deluxe tartist eyeliner set um it comes with four of their tartist kind of liquid liners and the brush i don't know if this is the full size brush or if this is the smaller brush this like if it's a smaller size brush that um, doesn't, I think when you buy a full size of these, I think it comes with a brush. Um, but I really like this brush. So if you do still find this set, I bought this from Tarte directly during the Black Friday sale. It was just a better deal. So um, if you don't see this in Ulta or Sephora, check with Tarte directly and see if you can find it. Um, Honestly, I think I found my new favorite liquid liner. Um, if these continue to perform like I think they are, uh, this both of these items in full size are going to go in my pro kit. It's just that good. So um, these are from Stila. These are a liquid uh, glitter um, eyeshadow. And the formula is amazing. I have actually swatched most of these shades. Well, the one, uh, the shades that Ulta um, carries, I swatched um, just about all of them and fell in love and knew I had to get them. So um, you get the shade Diamond Dust, which is what is making my lids extra sparkly. The shade Kitten Karma, which is a really pretty kind of rose gold. Um, Diamond Dust is just that, is a very like silvery um, shade, very high sparkle. It has some like iridescence in it. So there's also like some purple and blue and green kind of in there. I, I don't know how well this is gonna read on camera, um, but if you, if you buy it or order it and um, check it out, you are going to love it. So I started to swatch it before I was showing you guys. Um, so this is the shade Diamond Dust. A little bit difficult um but the great thing about these is you really don't get fallout unless you kind of go overboard um but it takes a lot to go overboard with it so that first one is the shade diamond dust um the second one again is kitten karma so this is kind of a, a rose gold this one's a little more metallic it does have some sparkle and shine in there but it's not quite the intensity that diamond dust i feel like diamond dust and I think one other shade, I can't remember exactly which one. So um, this is Kit and Karma. Um, have, excuse me, the, the most sparkle. I think there's kind of like a gold shade. Um, but you can definitely see the difference between Kit and Karma and Diamond Dust as far as how much like, like glitter reflect is on there. And then the last one is Smoky Storm. This is kind of um, like a taupey shade. Again, a little bit more metallic, definitely has that glitter effect in there. But I think because some of these shades that have a little bit more um, color to them, whereas the, um, the Diamond Dust has a little more glitter than actual color, um, it just makes it 
that much more shimmery looking. So that is the smoky storm right there on the end. Again, I have all three. If I didn't mention this, I actually have all three on my lids. Um, and there is a, a little demo at the end of this, um, how I apply them. And I just did a really simple eye look because I really wanted this to be um, the focal point. So again, next up we have from Tarte. This is a four piece set and this retails for $24. So if you can happen to find it, it's $24. Um, I don't remember how much this set is. I think it's around the $30 to $35 range, which I think is great when you get four liners and a brush. Um, I will link it down below. If I can find, um, still find this stuff retail, I will link it down below. If not, I will link the full sizes. I think it's well worth getting the full sizes. Um, so you get four shades. You get mulberry, champagne, black, and copper. Um, I think these are really gonna like up anyone's makeup game. Um, these are great liners. Like I'm so impressed how easily these liners went on. So if you've never seen this before, they come in a little squeezy tube. And um, you have like this little reservoir thing. Hopefully my brush is going to be clean enough to swatch these. I'm going to try and swatch all four shades for you guys. Um, and this actually went over pretty well the glitter and really covered it up, even the black, which is, whoa, which is a pretty big deal because getting liner over glitter and having it be opaque can be difficult. So this mulberry, I'm assuming is going to be kind of like a purpley burgundy shade. So let's just start to find some areas to test on. Yeah, this is, I don't know, again, how easily this is going to show up. Um, this is a little bit, this is like a huge swatch, but I just want you to kind of be able to see the shade. So this is kind of like a, almost like an aubergine. Is that how you say that word? Um, but this has like a little bit more of like a purple kind of burgundy background to it. So again, that is the shade Mulberry. Next up, we have the shade Champagne, which I actually thought was gonna be a silver, um, but they call it Champagne. So I'm curious to see, these could be really fun to like layer um, above um, a black or layer black over it and have like kind of that peekaboo color. So all of them have this little reservoir you just kind of, whoa, careful squeezing it up. Some of these are spitting product all over the place. You have to kind of prime these. Ooh, there it is. There you are. Here, I'm going to use this little angled side of the brush for this. Um, so we're going to be able to see this as well. This isn't quite as opaque but it is a lighter shade so I wouldn't necessarily expect it. This is a little bit also slightly metallic so this would be fun to use um, like I said kind of as like a, a highlight with a black liner or um, on your lower lid or the inner corner. So that is the shade Champagne right there and you can see as this is uh, Mulberry is drying down very pretty. So again, that is the champagne shade. Excuse my dirty nails. I got makeup all over them. And then next up is the black shade, which is what I used in the video and what I'm wearing right now. Let's see if I have any left in the lid. I think I do. Okay. So I don't have to spit this up. I actually really like this brush. Um, I wasn't sure about it at first but um, it applies the product amazingly so I'm I was looking at the brush when I first got it and I was like ooh I don't know about that brush but it just gl glided right over the glitter right over my crepey hooded eyes so again there is the black it is nice and opaque I'm really impressed um, again it went over the glitter and covered it there's a little bit of glitter that is sort of like settled um, on top of it but you don't see any of it from behind showing through um, so I'm very impressed just with this one use and then the last shade is copper 
Another one, this would be really, again, really pretty either to just wear, hopefully if it's deep enough to wear on its own, um, or alongside like the mulberry or um, the black as like an accent or to use on the lower line or your lids. Um, I also noticed when I was priming these, a little bit of liquid kind of coming out separation, which I think is probably somewhat normal for the settling. So you do have to kind of prime these. And what I mean by that is just kind of keep squeezing, kind of wiping, squeezing, wiping until things are kind of all mixed in. So yeah, I think this copper could potentially be used on its own if you, not with like a really dark eyeshadow look, but um, I think it could almost hold up on its own um, as a really pretty liner. So there again is the copper, maybe even with a brown liner um, and kind of layer it on top of like a really dark brown liner because um, these, this and the champagne are metallic. So those are the four shades. Again, I think this was in like the 30 to $35 range. So I think that's a really decent price for four, um, four liners and a brush. And each of these holds point one zero ounces or three grams. That's what you get um, in the uh, <laughs> liner. And, right, is that what it says on the back here? So, so, so that's what it said on there. So it's point one zero you get on each one. And for the Stila liners, you get point zero seven fluid ounces. So both of these are definitely worth trying to hunt down if you've been wanting them for yourself. If you are looking for, um, you know, if you are, like I said, looking for gifts um, or have just been wondering about these products. Ooh, I just smeared stuff all over this. Oh, that was probably what it's one of them squirted out. So without further ado, here is the demo of these products. Okay, so we are starting with the Winky Lux eyeshadow palette. And I'm gonna start with this color Duchess. And this is a really great shadow just to kind of run all over the lid to make sure that all the other shadows are nice and smooth. And then I'm gonna go in with the color Strut. It's a nice camel tone. And I'm gonna put that in the crease. Um, I'm making the eye really simple because I want these Stila shadows to really stand out. Uh, so after Strut, I'm going in with Cheshire. It's a really pretty kind of plummy purple shadow. And I'm just going to deepen up the crease with that. And then um, go in a little bit more. And then I'm going to go back with Strut and just smooth out all of that and make sure that things look nice and blended. And then last, we are going to mix Duchess and Purr together for a brow bone highlight. So next I'm going in with the Stila shadows. Um, the first one that I'm doing is Diamond Dust. I apologize that you can't see the little name sticker, but I will tell you what they are. And I'm gonna create, try and create kind of an ombre. It didn't, it was a little difficult to capture that on video. Um, you see me tapping it in with my finger. I actually found that you really don't need to do that. Just kind of smoothly layering these on with the wand works just fine. Next is Kitten Karma. This is that kind of rose gold shade. Um, you can see that ombre on the other eye um, a little bit better. The lighting was better on that side of the room, so I actually wish that I had done uh, my eyes in reverse so you could have seen this a little bit better. So I'm just going in with a little bit more diamond dust um, to kind of help create that uh, ombre effect. And then last, trying to get that smoky storm open. And again, this is a taupey shade, taupey, or <laughs> Smoky Storm and Kitten Karma are kind of like a metallic glitter, whereas Diamond Dust is just a straight up super, super glitter, um, silvery color. So it has the most shine on it. So just checking things out, making sure things look good. I'm going to touch up here and there um, just to make sure that I have the opacity that I want before I move on. And we're gonna move on to the Tarte Liquid Liners. I'm using that black. 
Um, oh, there it is. So I'm going to be using the black and I really, really do like these and the, um, the uh, brush. I'm commenting on how tiny the writing is on the back of it. So I'm just squeezing it up into that reservoir, getting it on uh, my brush. I'm much better doing my makeup standing up than sitting down. Um, but you can see how nicely this is smoothing across uh, the glitter um, shadows from Stila and even my crepey lids. Um, there's little to no drag. I really didn't have to go and um, correct any drag marks that I normally get from other liners. You can see I'm even able to do this one-handed. I'd use my pinky as a um, an anchor. That's a little pro tip right there. And when you're doing your own makeup and you have to do it one-handed, kind of put your pinky down as an anchor. It works really well. Um, so this is a really great product, really nice and opaque and black. That glitter is not showing through, you can see that. And I'm just kinda throwing a little little baby wing on there uh, because of my lovely, lovely hooded eyes. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, I really love both of these products. Just going in, doing a little cleanup on that. So big thumbs up for that. And I'm going back in one more time with that Winky Lux palette in the color Romeo. It's similar to Cheshire, but it is a shimmer shadow, whereas um, Cheshire, Duchess, and Strut are all matte shadows. Um, so I'm just throwing that on the lower lash line and putting on some mascara, and I'm all done. And there is my pretty little face. Thanks again for watching and be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the fun. You can also follow me on all the social medias as Modern Retro Gal. If you have any suggestions for videos, please feel free to leave those in the comment below. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you all again soon.